So we're going to show <clears throat> that if P and Q are true, then R is true. And uh, that if we also have that Q and P are both true, that we can then infer that R is true. Okay, so in a conventional proof, you would do the following. Whoops. Now, I've got to infer R from though combining those two, but notice they're not the same statement, so I actually need P and Q rather than Q and P. So, first I need to get Q by ant elimination on number two. Then I got P by ant elimination from two. Then I got P and Q, I put them back together by ant introduction from four to three and four. And then I can get, uh, finally, R by more exponents or what's called conditional elimination on 1 and 5. Okay, so now in the graphical notation, um, we would represent this graphically. And this statement, if P and Q then R, becomes something like this. Okay, so we have these cuts, and the inside cut means uh, uh, demonstrate the conditions of a conditional, and then uh, on the inside of the inside one, you would get the um, uh, consequent. Okay, um, and then Q and P simply means both Q and P, because everything you put on the board is something you assert to be true. Okay, uh, so there's no ordering in these. These are all kind of floating around. And uh, so now one of the rules in this system says, well, this says we have P as a condition, but given that P is true, we have actually satisfied this condition. So we can erase that. That's actually what the rule says. You can erase that copy. Same with the Q. I can erase this. Um, if I wanted to, I can actually erase this information, just throw it out because I'm done with it. And then here, we, this is actually double negation, so uh, we can erase that too. And there we are. We, got, we have just proven R.